overcame a devastating injury as a toddler to defy the odds. Not only did he learn to walk again, he is running every day. Lamont Thomas shares his inspirational story in his new book called The Running Miracle. Lamont joins me now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, for having me. So let's start kind of at the beginning. What, what was the accident? What happened? So basically when I was 18 months old, I uh, got out of my car seat somehow and uh, crawled in front of a uh, two park cars and lady hit me. Oh man. So. Do you have any memory of this or do you just remember being in the hospital and that kind of no, stuff? No, but I do have periodic, I, don't, I, I wouldn't call them nightmares, but yeah. of me getting hit and then the stories that follow that I heard from my neighbors. Right. Um, and then just me waking up at the end of it, waking up and just uh, being on top of the car and just, you know, so. Um, what what did doctors say at the time? Well, basically, to my knowledge, that I would uh, be wouldn't be able to walk, wouldn't be able to run, wouldn't be able to manage basic functions on my own, and just you know possibly be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Do you remember being told that, or w was that kept from you well, as you were trying to get well? Um, it, it was kind of kept, but on and off, you know, I heard it. I heard it from doctors. Right. I sit in the doctor's office and I listen to them. And You're pick, picking this up yeah, and imagining. So. Um, how, how in the world did you manage to overcome what was predicted for your life? Well, you see, it started went about, I think, 11. Uh, I started noticing, like usually when you walk, you know, you walk your way, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't look any different. I looked in the mirror, it was fine. I, uh, I was actually walking down a uh, Queen, Anne, uh, Queen Anne Hill because we had a Martin Luther King walk. So at you were my able school. to walk at this point? Yes. You'd gotten that well? Yeah. Okay. And then I was on Como and I finally saw the way my gait was walking. The way I was walking, my gait was swaying. I go, is that why they were staring at me for so long? Because I didn't realize I was walking like mm -hmm. that. I figured I was walking like everybody else. So um, that day I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try to change it. I'm gonna work on it. Um, was it through physical therapy? What did you do? I honestly, I didn't like physical therapy. I, just walking, Walking by myself, tuning myself out, and just walking and walking and walking is, you know, I, I did work on it, mm -hmm. some physical therapy, but I felt like the physical therapist was like a doctor. And I didn't really like being told what to do because... And you probably had enough of doctors by that time, yeah, too. Yeah, it's like the you can't or you shouldn't do that complex was stuck in my head. Right. So every time they said something, I basically was like, well, look, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're one you of know, those you people. Do, you, you, can, <laughs> you can't, you won't, or I you can. shouldn't. Those yeah. are the three most dangerous words with me. When did you first, the very first time you were able to take some steps that turned into a run? I want to say, I had a four-wheeled walker. Uh, I think this was about probably 12. At 12, uh, I was was walking down this hill and I started running because I had a four-wheeled walker. Mm -hmm. And I used to scream in my neighborhood. I'm like, Lamont's in the house <laughs> at like 10 a.m. in the morning. And like, I just got reminded of that. And I was just like, did I really do that? Did I really used and to do off that? off you went. What? So obviously you're still inspired to keep going. You've written this book called The Running Miracle. And what do you want people to take away from this and especially kids? Well, that you can... And by the way, there he is running, so <laughs> there he goes. It's Go my Lamont. favorite jersey. Lamont is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically that, you know, stick, stick to what you know. Um, do, you know, progress yourself. Always have a backup backup plan mm -hmm. because I didn't, get to play, I didn't get to be a basketball player I wanted to be. I didn't make it to the NBA. I didn't make it in the NFL. But I'm doing motivational speaking. I'm a writer. I'm an author. And... A speaker so having those as a backup plan yeah. is really gonna assist you because you know that can lift you up when those other things are tearing you down well the book is amazing it'll make a great gift 
and just a great encouragement in these times when we need it. Thank you so much, Lamont. Thank you. You are a terrific person. We appreciate it. Lamont's going to discuss and sign copies of The Running Miracle tonight at 7 at Third Place Books in Lake Forest Park. Please visit our website. We'll have all the information that you need for that, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.